<clears throat> no video today, but we have audio and we have the... Oh, crap. I, <laughs> I made a mistake. I was going... <clears throat> I was going for the weekly brawl, and it turns out that I just chose the regular old commander style. Kind of sucks. But, nah, so be it. The commanders for this weekend, uh, this week, uh, is quite simple. It's Lizzie Brigade, which means you get the Haka. So if you go double the Haka, if you go up against a Rainer with that, you are sorted. Um, what else? Uh, you get a Stetman. Which is cool, I guess. And you get... Oh, reduced visibility. That last one's not so cool. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Though it does say it's from the void. Ooh, okay, I got these guys. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh. Hmm. The cough tastes crap. I'm a bit ill again. Which kind of sucks. Although it's nothing new. We know the feeling by now. And I am prepping for a... Uh, how best to describe it? A... Um, a test. I want to see how bottlenecked a 6950 XT can be on a Q6600 Core 2 Quad. And then, uh, with regards to that, I want to see how far we've improved, I guess. How much of a difference it really makes. Why didn't you start firing at them? How much of a difference it actually makes to the um, the GPU. And this is going to be done in 4K. Simply because in 4K, the onus lies on the GPU. So I want to give the CPU as little work to do as possible. You know, just to make sure that... Uh, we give the CPUs a chance, because I, the sort of benchmarks that I want to run is not necessarily going to be very friendly. And I'm not going to go and run CPU intensive benchmarks, no. The idea is to shift as much of the workload onto the GPU as is possible. That's why I want to run it in 4K to give the... Uh, to give the CPUs a bit of a break, and mm, that's the idea at least. I, I've got a Q6600 here. Uh, I was thinking about going as low as a what's those things? A E80, 80, is it E8400? Something like that. The old world uh, devices from very yesteryear. But those are dual cores, and I don't think that, that anything would run on them. Other contenders, I'm going to go all the way up to the 7900X, which is my daily driver, and see how much of a difference there is. Yes, there is going to be a difference, people. That is, that is quite obvious. If there is no difference, then I think we are being fooled. So I hope there is a big difference, at the very least, uh, in order to justify us buying new CPUs every couple of years. Or else we just upgrade the hugely expensive graphics cards. Now, uh, I have to make sure that I set everything to their max. And I'm just testing it out. I'm, I'm actually busy prepping the... Uh, 
hard drive, not a hard drive, the SSD that I will be using for this, simply because I want to have everything set up exactly the same. No V-Sync. Everything is on, that's on, that's on frame rate limit, unlimited, on high, yes, yes. Ooh, wait, I can go up to 16 anisotropic filtering. Cool. Yes, I want to accept those settings. And yes, I want to keep the settings. Wonderful. Absolutely spiffing. And I just messed up because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Maybe I should actually build a science vessel. That might work. I didn't even know. What is making that change? I want to take CPU cooling out of the... Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, to take CPU cooling out of the equation, I am going to run it all on uh, 360 millimeter water cooling, just to make sure that we don't have any bottlenecks where that is concerned. That is the idea. Uh, how the execution is going to go for that idea, I have absolutely no idea. But I can tell you now, just from looking at, or doing a test run, apparently my Ryzen 7 2700 is running at 10,000 gigahertz. Uh, <laughs> it, I don't know what I'm cooling that with, but whatever it is, it's working. It is working stupid. Endlessly well. 10,000 gigahertz. Holy crap. Oh, man. I I so wish I was recording that at the moment. That would have been amazing. And the frame rate's quite crap. And this is... Sorry, I'm doing a test run on a fairly old game, namely uh, Mafia 2, definitive edition, no less, but still, Mafia 2, is, it's not the pinnacle of most modern gaming. Uh, the idea isn't to, why are we freezing, no, no, don't, who's leaving, no. Oh, I want to actually, that's another thing I want to do, there's a match I played yesterday, which was Probably one of the best ever of turnarounds. It literally went from oh crap to oh that's perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, we won the game, but it was barely. They nearly took us. Um, took us down so <laughs> that was a that was a scary one and now we've lost the play we've lost burst don't fall off that's a bracket who is he which come on that's the guy that was up against me Vorazon that is not ideal unfortunately I kind of built it to face Vorazon I would have preferred it being Nova but, now I've got to build tanks. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to build tanks. My tanks are powerful, but they fire so slowly. And, oh, I had this... Who, who was it that I had this discussion with on one of the matches? was about... Um, you know the weekly brawls when we get the, the auras? The one time we had... I think it was six that we could choose. It was a couple of years ago. It was a huge amount of auras. Six different auras. And in those six auras, we could get, obviously, the whole range of things. And I was Rainer. I remember this very clearly. And I got all of them. I think five... No. Yeah, I got five of them with the 15% attack cooldown. 
and I was just building tanks the whole time. You can imagine, 5 times 50 percent. I, I don't know how they stack, I, I have no idea, I'm not gonna calculate that. But it was the most stupendous thing because it was literally machine gun tanks. Quick deploy, and I think they were deploying even quicker back then, which was insane within itself. But those tanks firing that quickly, they just couldn't... I had a crappy... I, I think I remember having a crappy ally before me, so I could never... I could push through their wave and through my wave and get to the tower, but I could never kill the damn tower. I can't remember how the match ended. I just remember that it was absolutely nuts. The sheer amount of shells landing, landing everywhere. Why am I having hiccups? I am having hiccups. Oh, that's exit. Yes. And a new Mafia game is coming out. I, I don't even pay attention to that. Oh man, God, my attention span is worse than a guppy's. Which is actually quite poor, I believe. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's still just a myth. Oh, if it's been confirmed. And for my American viewers, actually, I want to ask. Now, what did you guys think of the debate? I didn't watch it. I don't waste my time. Um, I haven't watched Comedy Central for the longest time, so I'm not going to start now. But uh, apparently some people say this one won. Some people say the other one won. And I don't care who won. Frankly, um, <laughs> it's... A bit of a... I want to say a joke. I, uh, it is a bit of a joke. I mean, your politics is... Something that does belong on the Comedy Central. It's almost like the British best comedy that's now playing out in Westminster. Uh, with Keir... What's his surname? Starmer? Starmer? No idea. But with the Labour guys. They won a massive amount, or won by a massive amount, and yet things are, what, worse? Uh, I can tell you the Irish are laughing. They're, they're enjoying the pain of everybody else, uh, especially English. Uh, but other than that, there's not really that much interest that can be shown in any of these politics because I feel politicians are just way too old at this point you have people that's 150 years old that needs to lead a country and that's actually why and I funnily enough got flagged on YouTube for this for saying that I'm happy that Biden is not going to run and not because I'm against Biden anymore. I'm happy for him because it was so unfair to him to have that responsibility at his age in decline on his shoulders. I mean, really, is that what we think of our elders nowadays? It's like they need to take care of us and babysit us. No. I think that um, you need people who are of a certain age to retire and that age is the retirement age I don't care who they are if they're the president if it's retirement age there you go but apparently people still cling to this belief that um, old people need to be leaders of countries weird notion to have but hey what do I know I'm not into politics at all Oh crap, uh, what, what is this? What was I doing? I'm building tanks and it's not really working out for me. I talk about it, I talk to, talk to about everything. Oh, and I want to talk about rugby as well. <laughs> this is something funny. So, as those who watch rugby, and know anything about rugby, know South Africa beat the living hell out of the... New Zealanders twice, and New Zealanders are quite angry about that. 
but the South Africans are being quite toxic about it as well. And I love the pettiness about it, especially where they go. The new title for the Bladderslow Cup is the Wooden Spoon Trophy. They're not wrong, per se, but still, they can show some respect. That, that would be fine with me. They, just a little bit of respect. Uh, would would not go amiss and of course Formula One's back in Baku this week with K-Mag being suspended which is hilarious well deserved suspension by the way actually no I don't agree with it uh, I think K-Mag is the type of racer we want to see uh, when Hamilton does it nobody cares when Lando Norris does it, nobody cares. Oh, what's their nationality? British. Ah, there we go. That's that's the reason. If you're British, nobody cares about what you do in Formula One. You are safe. You can ride, run, run people off the road. You can do absolutely what you want. But be another um, nationality and you are the devil incarnate. Welcome to Formula One politics. It is just the way it is. Uh, kind of. It's kind of that tongue in cheek one where the. I can't remember the guy's name, but it's a Limerick lad. Rugby player that. Under his breath. Uh, I think the story goes that William was visiting the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The. The dressing rooms after a match because he's a big rugby fan and he was concerned that he wouldn't be able to make it and he said that in the dressing room you know he was concerned it's a big scheduling thing etc and this limerick lad just pops up saying under his breath well some of your ancestors never had a problem coming over here and apparently there was a bit of a silent giggle fest at these words which look it's not untrue in yeah, bit you know tongue in cheek and sense of whatever it is hilarious and true and true that's the key thing it is true why is this going so slowly this poor SSD is really being worked hard it is being worked out because I'm, I'm going at it I'm installing a lot of things that I want to try out I'm gonna do some Apex Legends see how that runs I'm gonna do uh, Lake Tales of Requiem because I know it's got some good graphics and I want to see how you know a very old CPU holds up against a very new uh, game and if it even runs I don't, I don't know what's gonna run that's just something I want to test and yes Bioshock Infinite is gonna be there because they've got a built-in benchmarks uh, so I'm looking at the games that I have that I have built-in benchmarks I'm looking at what I have that's well I've got Xbox out so that, that should be fine nice from Game Pass and see oh crap my screen almost turned off I don't know recently added let's see what was recently added here I think we're gonna win this one I think we're gonna win it it's all me people it's all me it's all my tanks let me go no that's a blacklist I haven't got any blacklisted and you see it's all me 40% GG Mongol Oh, early GG. Oh, we're gonna lose this so badly now. Whenever whenever somebody throws out an early GG, I'm just like, oh god, we're gonna lose it. No matter what we do, we're gonna lose it. We could be one strike away and we'll lose it. Just because of an early GG. Forza, do do Forza. I don't know. Rise of Nations. Oh. The oldest 
Middle Earth, Shadow of War. I don't know, actually. I'm going to have to go through some of these and see what the um, minimum... I don't really care about what minimum system requirements are because I'm not going to follow them. I mean, I'm trying to run this on a old LGA 775 chipset. One of the peak CPUs, though, but still quite old. And if I get my hands on it, a 9550, not just the 6600. Uh, there's a bit of a difference between them. I think it was built a year, year and a half apart. Not quite sure. That's 200 gigs. That's a lot of space. I don't think I have that much space on this drive. At all. More. It doesn't say... Where the hell does it say what the specifications are for the game? Reviews... Nope. Why can't I see... Am I being blind or am I just being stupid? Or a combination of both? Okay, I don't know. I think I'm being blind and stupid at the same time. And they're pushing back. Uh, fill up that line. What do they have there? They've got those things. They're good versus armor. So I don't want armor. I want Ares. We got the Ares going in. The Ares is going to hopefully you know, absorb a lot of these things as shots. The Impalers. We have anti-air for these guys. I think we're well set up. It's just my allies aren't doing what they should be doing. Or have I been fading? No, I've not been fading. I've actually been doing well. Hmm. Oh my word. This guy's stuck on two. Oh, one gas. Not even two. Uh, that's catastrophically bad. Unfortunately, that's par for the course for 90% of the people that play this game. It's like, yep. I know nothing of what they're doing, but let's leave them to it. It's weekend. I've got opinions on weekends. Otherwise, I'll go nuts. Oh, God. He's gone for that. Whoa. At least we know he is new, because... Hey, look, it's being disabled by Strike Goliaths, who can disable them by shooting their missile things. Their electric missiles. I don't know why I'm looking at the camera, or say, showing at the camera stuff. I'm so used to having it on, but today, I, uh, no, just not in the mood to... Uh, I, I told you! Early GG. Early GG. Whenever that happens, we will lose. It is just a thing. <sighs> most kills, most damage dealt. Whew. That's not good. That's not good. Damage take, I, I could have done a bit better there. Uh, again, here... Best here, best here. Irrelevant, irrelevant. Uh, I don't know if this shows unit ineffectiveness or. Hmm. It shows they stayed a lo around the longest. Kind of doesn't show that. This shows our unit's ineffectiveness. Hmm. And then this tool. He actually had three gas when he left, and he left right early. Wow. Yeah, over ten minutes. Wow. He, yeah. Anyway, that sucks. That really sucks. I think my build was alright. Mm. That sucks. That's all I'm going to say. It sucks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and... Um, Maybe I'm going to put that... I do want to... I Do I want to narrate that video? How long is it? Um, where 
is my replace. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> there we go. No, it wouldn't be this one. It would be this one, I believe. Yeah. So it's 14 minutes long. That's, uh, no, this was this morning. That was yesterday. Was it? Oh, God, don't tell me it's this one. That was the only one I did yesterday. Was it today that I did it? That I had this match? Ah, oh, no, it wasn't today, was it? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go look. I can't remember. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you back again for the next episode. Um, some of the series are actually doing quite well. I had my first two videos that broke a thousand, which was weird. Because they did it back to back. And then everything else just went flat again. I don't know how this works. It is frustrating. But anyway. Thank you and ta-ta, I guess. Why did you stop working? <laughs>